What's up love bugs and welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today I'm teaming up with Genius Wig to bring you this beautiful two-in-one hairstyle. As you guys can see, this one looks amazing on me. You guys see I opted for no baby hair and it's rare that I go with no baby hair. And the reason I was able to execute that so well is because it came already ready to go. It's clear, lace, and it looks absolutely amazing. It is pre-plucked, the knots were bleached, the color of the lace matched with my complexion beautifully and I just was able to execute this one with no hiccups at all. Also, if I did not mention, this one is a two-in-one lace wig. What that means is simply the fact that you will be able to install this one and have a straight hairstyle and then when you want to switch it up, you'll be able to wet it down with your favorite leave-ins or whatever you use. Today I'm going to be using my Nairobi mousse and just a little H2O just to get this beautiful look and curl pattern here. It's nice, it's soft, it's luscious, and more importantly, you'll be able to co-wash it, wash it really quickly, blow dry it, and it'll go back to straight. So you get the best of both worlds, you get two styles in one. So if you like the way this looks and you want to join along in the install process, keep on watching. Okay, jumping right into the video, I'm going to show more detail on this at the end, but I went ahead and added the lace that we're going to be rocking today, which is clear lace and medium brown lace. I really wanted you to see really quickly how well the clear lace melts into the complexion, the skin, whereas the medium brown one is kind of ashy and it doesn't blend as well. Okay, and this is what the wig and the lace looks like on. It literally melts into my complexion, my skin instantly. So good that you can see my cap. So I highly recommend you do the ball cap method. I just took and scooted my cap back for time's sake. This is a 13 by six lace wig and everything is done to perfection. They've even included the adjustable elastic band. Now let's go ahead and get started on the install process. I like to clip the hair back so that there is none in the way. I like to go ahead and cut the lace around the ear to make sure that the wig fits perfectly. You never want the lace to cover the top of your ear. You want it to fit around like a glove so that the wig perfectly fits your size. I'm gonna go in with a eyebrow razor to go in and trim off the excess lace and just, I didn't even speed this point up because I really wanted you to see how amazing this lace is. It's absolutely flawless. You can see that once you cut it off, it literally blends with my skin. The way it's pre-plugged to perfection, everything about this one is a 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and bond this one down. We're going to use a non-glue adhesive. And for me, this one comes from Target. You can find it online. I'll have it linked down below. And it's just an extreme hold hairspray that you can typically use like on your curls and styling your hair. It actually gets tacky when you blow dry it on a cool setting and it will dry and melt the lace to perfection. I'm going to work on the opposite side next and then we'll do the center and then we'll add the elastic band. Now we're going to go ahead and add that elastic band as I mentioned. Excuse me, mine is a little dirty, but you know, it's going to do the job. I like to do this to go ahead and melt the lace in even more. 
And while that goes ahead and sets, I'm going to go ahead and perfect the sideburns. We are doing no baby hair with this wig, but I definitely wanted sideburns just to give it a little bit of personality. And I think they came out so good. Typically, I like to trim my hair, the sideburn hair, like right um, where the end of my earlobe is. And then just go in with a... Um, edge control or a mousse like a wax like Nairobi and just swoop it how you like it you can even do it by curling it with a curling iron but to me mine came out amazing and look I was so amazed again I did not pluck I did not tweeze at this point I didn't tint the lace or anything like that it just naturally came this amazing Next, let's do the dynamic duo. I'm going to go in with my wax stick. And you've seen mine's broke, but it's okay. I'm going to use it until it's completely done. I like to work that in and then pair it with the electric hot comb to really, really, really melt that hair and that lace along the hairline on both sides. And then I'm going to go in with a contour powder, which is a shade or two darker than my complexion to go in and just blend in that lace even more. With this use your own discretion as you guys can see the powder is about a shade or two darker than my complexion i prefer this than it for it to be too light but honestly i could have mixed it with a lighter one for an even better um, complexion or color but you know it worked out perfectly and i was able to go in after the fact once i got off camera and noticed that it was a little dark i did add a powder that was a little bit lighter and it made it perfect Team Herbalife, I'm drinking my tea right now and it's giving me so much energy. I've added my lift off. I've been on Herbalife for about two weeks now, actually going on three, and I'm absolutely loving my results. I'm currently six pounds down. I'm trying to get to that 10 pound goal. Go ahead and check the description box if you're interested in signing and joining up with me and being on my team. I'll have more about that coming soon. As I'm talking your head off, I'm also perfecting the parting with that same dynamic duo. And then I'm going to go in with the flat iron and just straighten it around. Be sure to use a heat protection whenever using heat. Okay, love bugs i went ahead and installed and styled this wig and i'm absolutely pleased it's always amazing when you can put on a wig and you don't have to like bleach the knots tint the lace you don't even have to go ahead and pluck out the hairline this one came pre-plucked i was able to literally just cut the lace off bond her down and then i did go in and add a little bit of powder to blend the actual lace of my complexion but this clear lace here is everything and more i highly recommend this as a beginner and that is not just it not only do you get amazing lace with this one but the hair itself is so versatile so as you guys can see i just went ahead and straightened it and it looks absolutely beautiful i didn't really go ahead and like silk press it um you can also add curls to it you can crimp it and different things and it also comes in different lengths if you want it longer or shorter but i just wanted you guys to see that this can be worn in a straight hairstyle and you're literally ready to go but that's not it you can also wet this one down and it will go curly which is absolutely amazing okay so i have a water bottle with some good old h2o you guys know this is my favorite water bottle i feel like i was one of the first on youtube to bring this to youtube these water bottles and now they're everywhere even like febreze and different um companies are using this for their products so i think they're absolutely amazing because you don't have to try too hard but i'm going to use this to go ahead and start to wet the hair down because i did straighten the hair i will expect that the hair will be a little bit stubborn and want to stay straight just like when you go to the salon and you get your hair straight and then you um like get in the shower or get over the sink to wash your hair for the first few minutes your hair usually will remain straight against the water and eventually the texture will show through so i don't want to be dripping in product 
or water so let's let that give it time to decide that it can go curly of course we're gonna add some mousse you get like underneath in the back because sometimes you forget that very easily and just like that the hair curled up now I used my rag to go ahead and dampen it out just a little bit but hopefully you guys can see how beautiful the texture is naturally literally you get the best of both worlds right over here and curly over here and it's not just curly just for show. It literally is a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous curl pattern. Focus on me, baby. Focus on me. So I went ahead and let the wig dry down just a little bit. Not all the way, but I wanted to see, like, of course, all hair looks good when it's completely wet. But when it, um, you know, dries up a lot what happens you know does it frizz up does it fluff up does it revert back to straight does it hold what is it gonna do and i feel like this one is actually gonna hold the curl it's actually super soft and i'm gonna try and see if it'll focus but i don't know if you guys can tell but look at that beautiful texture it's soft i did add the nairobi to it which definitely is gonna help to tame tame your curls but i feel like they stand well alone so i did scrunch it just minimally let me know what you think of the curls i'm gonna go ahead and wet the opposite side down opposite side and as you guys can see it came out exactly the same this side obviously has had a little bit longer to dry so you can see it's full and fluffy you know how it is when your hair is wet it kind of is a little bit or it appears a little bit more thin and as it dries up they will match perfectly and what I love about this wig obviously is the clear lace compared to medium brown lace this one is top tier I also love the fact that you know it was plucked it was tweezed you guys know I rarely do no baby hair and I did none and it looks amazing all you gotta do is add just a little bit of powder to make it melt into your skin especially if you're wearing foundation and honestly you guys see with your own eyes you really don't even need to do that it's just a habit of mine I also love again the fact that this one is versatile if you are traveling and you want to be able to bring just one wig this is a, a great option because you can start out straight and you can go curly you can start out curly and then for like dinner on a couple nights you can straighten it out after a good little co-wash and you are good to go i also love the length on this one because it's very easy maintenance i find that whenever i do like short above the shoulders bob it's a little higher maintenance because you have to keep it up simply because you can't really put it in a ponytail or bun and of course, the longer your curls are, the more you have to like finger rake them and, you know, wet them down in the mornings. This is that length where I can just put an elastic band around my hairline, throw it in a couple twists or a bun or a bonnet, you know, at nighttime. And when I get up, I can just splash literally the minim most minimal amount of water on the ends and go. And I don't have to worry about, you know, too much of a style. I also love how soft the curls are and just the texture in general. Very, very gorgeous. And it definitely complements my facial features. I'm absolutely in love if I did not mention this one did come from genius wig and of course I have a link to her in the description box and of course this is their packaging as always 
inside they gave me a pretty little scarf when I'm doing a scarf around the hairline this is the length um, or the width that I like a lot of the times companies will give you a scarf that is much thicker and you'll have to and you'll end up having to like fold it in half or cut it if you really wanted to just go on the hairline if I am waking up in the morning and my lace is lifting and I just wanted to hold it down without having to go in I would prefer to be able to put on a thinner scarf like this and it's definitely giving very much poochy vibes also in there they gave me some wig caps and a hair clip also they gave a handwritten note if you didn't know one of my favorite things is handwritten notes so thank you Lisa for that and then last but not least are these two pieces of lace one of them is brown lace and then one of them there is the crystal clear lace this one here is the brown lace and you guys can see how it sits on my complexion it's not bad you know I can rock with brown lace I know what to do with it I'm not to make it look great but it definitely you know gives a little bit ashy and it just doesn't melt into my complexion as well this one here in comparison is more brown this one has that gray ashy tone this one is brown if you can see that there so of course this one if you have to choose one of the two just naturally goes into my complexion much better i'm going to take some of my adhesive spray them both down blow dry them just enough to get tacky and you guys can see which one melts this one here like if you just push it and slide it back it almost looks like my arm is just wet you can't even tell anything is there whereas this one even when you kind of like conceal the edges you can definitely see that something is there so this one here again is the medium brown lace and this is a clear lace look how it just disappears and of course i'm not doing this as neat as i could but definitely giving skin and yeah I really don't have any complaints about this one this one fits my head like a glove the lace looks amazing and it blends with my complexion so whether you're darker than me or lighter than me you'll definitely love the way this one looks on you you'll love the hairline you'll love the texture of the hair both ways and of course this one is going to hold up very well, especially if you care for it like you care for your real hair. So I'm Ashley B. Deck. If you are tuning in for the first time, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. Put them onto a beautiful wig. And of course, a beautiful, amazing, talented influencer who may just be able to help them get their hair right. If you have a friend and you know their lace could use a little bit of work, send them my way. Send the link to my channel. It's no shade at all. It's definitely just a friend trying to help a friend in need of a good way to make their hairline melt like so. So yeah, I'll see you. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!